Belize's under-18 football team won the silver in the UNCAF tournament over the weekend. It was a spectacular finish for the young boys who went on to the finals but missed out on the gold against host country Costa Rica. You guys defeated teams that I'm pretty sure they fired their coaches after this tournament because nobody expects Belize to win. According to the FFB, their investment in the young players is paying off. They say that the work that's put in at an early age will help to improve football in Belize at all levels. We coined uh, our slogan at the Federation is to believe in the process. And some people ask, well, what is the process? Well, the process is organizing youth tournaments from the U10, U13, U15, U17 males and females, and having these athletes have plenty of games to play. And then we send them abroad, we send them internationally to get the exposure, to fly the, in, in, in the aircrafts, to be in big stadiums. So they get the exposure so that by the time they get to the senior level, they already have that behind them. And they can concentrate and focus on the job at hand, which is to play football and to take Belize to the next level. The focus of this football federation is on the youth, that we want to lay a strong foundation so that we could compete regionally, not only participate. And it's showing now, in less than two years that this new executive has been at the Federation, we are actually bringing home the medals already at the youth level. And it give us two, three, four more years, and at the senior level, we will bring, bring home the medals also. Minister of Sports Patrick Faber rewarded each of the athletes with small grants. The footballers, as well as the under-13 volleyball players who won gold at the Codicadar Games, were recognized for their outstanding performance in sports for Belize. We're supporting all of you who are not only athletes but also students by giving you a small financial grant to help with your educational journey because you have done so well for us and because we want you to stay in school as well because that's another piece of the puzzle for your success and for the success of our nation. We applaud you for doing well in the sporting discipline that you represent, but we also want you to keep doing well in school. And because we have the perfect marriage of portfolios in this ministry, education and sports, we are able to award all of you tonight with a $300 grant. I think we have to fix the on the 17 one. We're getting five instead of instead of three, and then we'll give the younger boys three, right? Right? Yes. So we'll address it. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.